So you're thinking about learning a cloud service. Well, which one should you choose? Hi, I'm Wes Bryant, educator at IT Pro TV, and in this episode of How to Get Started in IT, I'm going to give you some things to consider when it comes to getting started in the cloud. When it comes to cloud services, choosing the right one to start out with can be a challenge. Here are four things to consider to help you make your decision. Number one, should you go with a vendor that has the greatest market share? Let's talk about platform adoption. Something like AWS or Amazon Web Services. Currently, Amazon's cloud offering is the most widely adopted, which means there's a potential to have the greatest amount of jobs. Well, how about Microsoft Azure? It's the second largest adoption of cloud services, and it also translates into a large amount of job offerings. And then, of course, last up is GCP, the, cloud, or the Google Cloud Platform having the lowest market share or adoption, which could translate into less job opportunities. However, are you looking for the highest paying careers? While market adoption is something to consider, it doesn't necessarily translate into the highest paying jobs. Consider Google's cloud platform or GCP. It has one of the lowest market shares, which could, yeah, result in less job offerings. But for those jobs that are available, they bring some of the highest paying salaries. Are you considering following maybe a specific career path, like AWS certified or maybe Azure certified? Each of the three vendors that we've mentioned so far, they have career paths that you could choose to follow. And this can help guide the direction that you take. For instance, AWS has role-based paths, such as an architect or maybe a cloud practitioner. They also have developer and much more. But AWS always also has solution-based paths like advanced networking, big data, databases, machine learning, and much more. Now, if we jump on the Azure side of the tracks, we see career paths from Microsoft, such as the Microsoft Azure Administrator, as well as the Microsoft Azure DevOps Solutions, or maybe even Microsoft Azure IoT Developer, and much more. Now, the Google platform also has career paths such as the Associate Cloud Engineer, or the Professional Cloud Architect, or maybe even the Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer. These roles and solution paths can help you determine the path that you need to go and specifically where you will start. There are two paths you can go by, but in the long run, there's still time to change the road you're on. Maybe you're going to consider getting certified in multiple cloud service platforms. Remember, nothing says that you got to stop with a single vendor. You could start with maybe entry-level certifications across all of the platforms. And when you learn the basics of a single platform, remember, it becomes easier to learn another cloud service provider's platform. You just have to learn their terminology. This can help give your skill set a greater depth to the potential employers that you might come in front of. So when you're choosing which service to learn first, remember, Greater platform adoption can equal a greater selection of jobs, but that doesn't necessarily translate into the higher paying jobs. And then the reverse of that is that higher paying jobs can lead to a great salary. Uh, oh, salary. But it could also increase the competition to fill those jobs. And also remember, expanding your skill set across multiple cloud vendors, cloud service providers, and the different technologies can increase your attractiveness to potential employers. And finally, remember that if you're considering training in cloud-based solutions, IT Pro TV's library has thousands of hours in training, including topics such as Amazon's AWS and Microsoft's Azure. Keep us in mind when you're considering the path that you will take. So do you have tips on what may have helped you determine your path? Leave some comments below. And if you have liked what you've seen here today, make sure that you subscribe. And we'll see you next time on how to get started in IT.